So Google just made it possible for us to video chat with AI. Uh, why is that important? Well, as a blind person, it could mean that I could navigate around without ever asking a human for help, technically. But I have to test this out. So we're gonna go outside and go to multiple locations, hopefully without injuring me. Let's go. So the feature is called Gemini 2.0 Livestream. It's in Google's latest Gemini model, and it's actually free. It's not even available on the app yet. It's on the website called Google's AI Studio. I'll put a link in the description. Warning though, it's a bit jank currently, the UI. That wasn't gonna stop me trying it out though, because I'm a bit of a tech nerd. The whole premise is basically based around the fact that you can share your camera with it and talk to it live. So unlike the Be My AI video that I made earlier, which you can watch here, by the way, I'll put up a card. This doesn't require you to type questions out and take pictures continually. And it's just much quicker because you can just ask a question and reply. In theory though, we had to test this out. So we're gonna go out and try a bunch of daily stuff. Let's go. Uh, we gotta get some stuff from a supermarket, but before that we're kinda hungry, so we're gonna get something to eat. So we're at the cafe and we're out here to get some food. Uh, but first I need to find the cafe. So hopefully this can help me out in that. I can help you find the Desi Cafe. In the video, I see a store with a red and white awning. The sign on that store says, Desi Cafe. Is that the one you're looking for? Yeah, help me get to it from where I am currently. Okay, from your current location, you would need to turn slightly to your right. So we were off to a great start as the app was able to guide me exactly to the entrance of Desi Cafe. It missed out on one of the obstacles, but other than that, it was able to guide me spot on to the entrance and even to the front desk after a bit. It took a few seconds, but it managed to guide me exactly right in front of the ordering desk. Once I was done ordering some pretty weird snacks, it was able to even help me find the QR code so it was really, really useful here. And this was where it really showed the promise of just how useful this tool was. I was able to navigate without any help from my cameraman. Okay, so the first thing is done. We've ordered our food, but it's gonna take some time. So while we wait, uh, we gotta go get some other stuff. Let's go. So I'm in front of Dust Minute, which is our supermarket, and uh, I'm kind of thirsty. So I want what's called an ocean, which my cameraman tells me is flavored water. And I have no idea what that is. Flame me in the comments. But first, I need to be able to get in at all. So let's do that. Next, we went to the supermarket and here things started to go a bit off plan. It started okay. It was able to guide me to the entrance of the supermarket and I was able to go in. It even detected the fridges. But after that, when I wanted to order the drink, it just kept failing. We tried it two, three, four times. We kept turning it on and turning it off and it just kept failing. Funnily enough, as soon as I kept opening the door, the only reason that we could think of this was because it was just network issues. It was just not able to detect the right network and even a small drop off in the network just resulted in it just going off and saying bye bye, we're done. And this was a big problem. We managed to get the drinks at the end, but I needed help. Uh, so that didn't really work out. It kind of failed. This was what I was looking for. It has Virat Kohli's symbol on it, as you might see. Uh, shout out to RCB. But uh, I think it was the network. It was just very network demanding and it didn't work. So, um, bummer. Uh, we got a few more ideas, but first, uh, food's ready. So we gotta go get that. While walking back, I actually had the cool idea to try to navigate back to the cafe through turns and stuff. Okay, I can help with that. It looks like you were standing outside on a paved area with a tall apartment building in the background. There's also a smaller building with a window that has Milky Mist printed on it. Is there anything else you would like to know about the image? Uh, okay, so can you see any other buildings? Maybe one that looks like a cafe because that's what I'm looking for. It wasn't really working out well. After a point when I was facing it, it did detect the cafe, but here is where the inconsistencies started to kick in. It was not able to direct me exactly to the same door, just as it did before. In fact, it made me walk way off away from the cafe. After a point, it did detect it, but finally it was just a lot of faff. Oh, also, by the way, someone please correct its stereotypical blind nature and the fact that it's being two-faced because it called me blind and it understood that I was blind only then to tell me to, in quotes, see for something. Please fix this. Well, well, I'm you see it now? 
Uh, I can't see, so you're gonna have to help me find it by directing me to go to it. Okay, I can guide you to it. Look at the counter to the left of the small plant near the ATM sign. That's where the QR code is. Brother, brother, I can't see. You're gonna have to tell me where the ATM sign and the plant is. From my location, help me to get to it. Finally, I had this idea to actually test this to find a trash can because yes, my cameraman dropped that coffee on me. He will say otherwise in the comments, but it is true. And here is where the inconsistencies reached its peak because it was able to detect the trash can, but it couldn't for the life of it tell me where to go. It just kept failing and telling me, I'm sorry, I can't help you navigate here. This was a big problem, especially because the can was right ahead of me. So pretty underwhelming end to the whole experience. Oh, okay, that was a pretty tiring one. And I have a few thoughts. This has shown glimpses of brilliance. Like initially when it helped me get to the cafe and helped me find the QR code, it, when it works, it's beautiful. It's very quick and it's very descriptive. The problem though is that A, it's very inconsistent. Sometimes it just doesn't describe it properly. Sometimes it uh, fails outright and sometimes it just says it cannot help me navigate. The other problem is that this is not a monitoring system. So I cannot tell it, for example, to help me find a certain item in an aisle. Tell me when it finds it because it is only based on me asking it a question in one particular moment and then it responding based on what it sees in that particular second. So it cannot keep seeing it and tell me, hey, I just found the Fanta. And that's not as useful when you're walking through a store and stuff because it takes time to ask it questions. And additionally, it's just, it's slow. It's not as quick because it doesn't speak as quickly. And it's it takes time for it to process. And the final thing is related to this. It's just that it's so network heavy that currently it sometimes works. And even if the network drops off slightly, it fails. Just like we saw in the store when it couldn't find the drink. Oh my God, <laughs> it couldn't find the drink. Uh, don't do that, by the way, at home. It just completely failed because it couldn't work even in slightly a fringe scenario. So unless you have great network, currently it doesn't work well. And basically the outcome is that currently it's it's it has promise. It's just not as refined and we need it to be more refined before we can actually use this for any meaningful navigation. The promise is there. I really hope they don't stop working on this. I just, I would wait on it if you want to use this daily. It is free to try though. Unlike this drink though, this doesn't need any fixing. It's a beautiful drink. By the way, buy the, uh, buy the blue one, not the white one. The white one's too expensive. Anyway, that's it from me. Have you guys had any experiences with this AI specifically? Or what are your thoughts on it? Do you think it's going to work? Do you think it won't work? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, if you want to see more videos like this, get subscribed because this year we're going to have a lot of content. Anyway, I'm off. I'll see you in the next one.